Hi and welcome to Enjoy Stampin' with Robin. Today we're going to use a technique that will help you to uh, utilize all the pieces of your designer series paper. So uh, even the smallest of scraps can be used. Um, the technique we're going to use is called the mosaic technique. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with a piece of bash bashful blue textured cardstock that measures eight and a half by five and a half, and we're going to score that at four and a quarter. I have my scoring blade in here. Now I have the textured side up because I want that to be on the outside of my card. So we'll go ahead and burnish that with our bone folder. Um, now the next thing we're going to do is take our five petal flower punch and a piece of scrap bashful blue textured cardstock. We're going to punch out three flowers. And three circles from our half inch circle punch. Going to have a little bit of tone on tone. Okay, and then you take your snail adhesive or your Tombow, whatever you prefer to use, um, with the textured, the most textured side up. Um, just go ahead and adhere the little circles to the center of the flowers. It's a little tricky to work with such small circles, but. Then we're going to adhere those to the top of our card. We're going to do a card today in landscape position. So, and I have the, um, the top point about one eighth inch from the top of the card and, and the side one about an eighth of an inch in from the side of the card. And then you need a piece of certainly celery textured cardstock that measures five and a half by two and a quarter. And we're going to use our brand new eyelet border punch, and you line that up um, along the uh, little lines there, uh, making it centered with the uh, with the center of the punch there, and that will give you even edges on the sides. And then it has these little holes in here that you just follow along and then um, you know exactly where to put it in. It's really a simple punch to use, brand new in this catalog, and I think it's going to be one of my favorites. So we take this and then we need our slip punch, and right between the last two little scallops, we're going to go up about, oh, an eighth of an inch again um, from the top of that line, and then we're going to make a slit and then move it over just a little bit so you have half the cardstock still, still sitting in there. We're going to add ribbon that is five-eighths of an inch um, wide, so the single slit is a little bit too wide for that. Um, we're going to use certainly celery ribbon, or so saffron ribbon, which is free in the ribbon bundle um, for celebration. So you can check out my blog for more details about that where you can earn free product. And then just tie a simple knot. I think I made my tail a little bit too short. So not too bad. We'll set that aside and we're going to work on our mosaic technique right now. What I use is a piece of sticker paper you get from the regular office supply store. It measures three and a half by one and a half and, it, and on the back it has this little liner. You just bend it and, and you can peel that off. Set that aside. You're going to need that in a little bit here. Um, just take off all the little liner pieces. This one has a little one at the end. And then to with your scraps you, can, you just take them and then um, just make random little snips like this, and of course they're double-sided, so, um, and then you get the idea of, of what we're doing here. You take your sticker paper and just set this, set the designer paper on in random little patterns, and of course you want it to stick off the edge of the paper because um, it, it just, it looks better anyway, uh, and then we'll be trimming that at, at the end. Just set them on there however you like. There's no right or wrong way, just just have a good time. And it's kind of like recycling, so it makes it even more fun. 
And this is something that, you know, your kids can help you with as long as you help them with the heat tool because we're going to be embossing this, which is really pretty. Oops, just set these on there. I've got to kind of hurry. My last video was, I had to do it in two parts because I was just too talkative. Couple more A little piece. Well, let's use a green one right in here. And then finish it off with a piece of the bashful blue. Set this aside. Now get your liner paper and then just kind of mush that mush that down on the right side. That way your paper is uh, your designer paper is nice and stuck to it. Um, you can get out your embossing supplies. I'm using silver embossing powder. And now what you want to do before you actually cut up your designer paper is you want to use your embossing buddy on it because it will definitely, um, the, the embossing powder will definitely stick to it. So we're just going to stick that in here and pour a bunch on there. because so you want to make sure you get it nice and covered really good and even mush it down some. So you want to make sure you get the embossing powder in every little crevice that you can. This little tool comes in our crafter's toolkit and it's very handy for this. Shake it off. And you, I don't know if you can see or not, but I have a bunch of embossing powder where I don't want it on the, on the um, designer paper. So what I'm going to do is our little trays come with these nice little brushes and that's exactly what they're for. Just to brush off where you don't want the embossing powder. Okay, and then we're going to get our heat tool. Um, another little tip with thin paper like this, if you put something on the back of it before you heat it, it gives it some stability and you won't end up burning your fingers. Okay, that's done. I'm going to just a second to cool. Now this is where we take our scissors, flip it over, and then just snip along the edges. Okay, set this aside and we're going to take a piece of Whisper White and ink up I have the um, Thoughts and Prayers stamp that's uh, Please Know That I Care, and I'm going to ink that up in bashful blue. Okay, and then we're going to ink up around the edges. Well, let me punch that out, of course, first. This is just the large oval punch. Line that up in there. I'm going to ink up the edges just a little bit. And then we're going to take a scrap piece of designer paper. I happen to have one that's so saffron, our designer label punch, and cut out there. Adhere this, layer it on there with your snail. Okay, back to our card front. Take your Certainly Celery piece, and you can go ahead and adhere that onto your card front. I know I'm running close on time here now. Okay, put our mosaic piece on there. Oh, let me put a little on the edge. Lining that up, I'm going to turn this toward me, sorry. Lining that up with just a little bit of a border along the left and top side. If we take our sediment, I'm going to actually adhere that using dimensionals, and then we'll be done. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to email me.